Right then guys, competition time. Yep, this is the winner through night TC20 torch. Nice. I will talk about this torch during this video. However, uh, the problem I've got here is building a survival bag or a vehicle survival bag for the missus, okay? Now the story is, um, she's changed the job. She's now working as a community nurse, which she has a, uh, a catchment area of about 20 miles from uh, her local town. This is in rural Norfolk, and uh, the roads are, can be pretty bad. The weather can be pretty bad here sometimes. We do experience quite a lot of flooding when it rains, and we get occasional snow. We probably get two to three days of snow, okay? And she's expected to go out and to, um, to visit her clients or the national health clients, uh, change dressings and take diabetic readings and all that, tests and all that sort of thing, okay? Now, she hasn't thought about the winter time. Um, she has to use her own car, which is a Mazda 2, uh, which has small wheels on it. The uh, national health support can supply a fleet car which is a Vauxhall Vectra which isn't much better for the environment or as far as I can see it okay so there is a real possibility that she could get stuck yes now what I'm going to do is uh, offer the TC20 up as a torch uh, in, a, in a draw okay um, so what I wanted you to do is to, to uh, start to think about this. I'm going to give you the parameters. You've already got an idea already. I'll give you the parameters of uh, what we need to think about. Pull it together and then build a survival bag okay, for the vehicle. Specifically a survival bag for the winter in the vehicle just in case she gets stuck. Okay, And hopefully this will be an inspiration for some people to set things for their loved ones as well. Or even themselves. Okay, Guys think a totally different way to females when it comes to being prepared they probably would want to take the kitchen sink and everything domestic which i think is probably somewhere close to where she needs to because she's not technically minded now if you remember i did a review on a jump starter pack this one which was the capacitor one which has no charge in it uh, i did leave it in a car and uh, i did show her how to use it actually and uh, <laughs> She forgot about it, and yeah, she did need a jump start, and I had to go out to her, and I said, well, why didn't you use the, the starter pack? And it's like, I don't know how to use that, I forgot I had that in the car. Well, okay, that, that's human nature, isn't it, yeah? That was under the seat, yeah? So, um, what you want to do is have something that is practical for her, for a, for a female, and this is not being sexist, because a lot of females are not technically minded, and uh, have it so it is useful in a uh, breakdown scenario in the winter or if she gets stuck because it's a reality it's a reality in the UK a lot of people go out and they're not prepared they suddenly uh, get stuck in snow uh, or a snow drift they can't move the vehicle and they freeze to death and it does happen from time to time it does happen or they drive like idiots and they have crashes okay so what we want to do with this budget 200 pounds we have is to build a comprehensive pack that's simple to use and can be transferred from vehicle to vehicle just in case she has to use her uh, a fleet car or something like that as well okay now i work in a different town to where i live and we could say that the, the area the catchment area we're talking about a 40 mile trip possibly uh in whether that it may be I can't reach her at the time or nobody else can reach her or she can't get recovery or the all the other traffic stuck so th this is a it could be a realistic scenario yeah so that would be stuck overnight or, or during the day in a vehicle until help could come yeah it's okay having mobile phones and contacts and things like that but if they can't actually reach the person then they are stuck so this is what we're, we're sort of roughly looking at now I did think about buying a an extreme uh, off-road driving course for her so she could learn to drive in uh, extreme situations which i still might do but this is separate from the survival vehicle uh, okay the survival pack so yeah my first choice is 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 this torch okay now i bought uh one and i have it had it delivered and as it happened the, the works torch was flat so I took this out uh, on my uh, usual rounds, which is going and servicing trailers out in customers' yards. And of course, I have to check um, 
chassis and uh, welds and uh, the axles as well as uh, any components to make sure they're solid and they haven't come loose steering turntables things like that and of course i need light even in the sunlight you still need light to get into the crevices to check the weld so i'm using this torch and i used it for three days in a row and that was straight from delivery and i thought yeah actually this isn't too bad so i bought one for myself as well i have a spare one to give away and she's got one yeah so uh yeah they're pretty good I'd, I'd recommend these anyway the battery is huge now i did learn something um because i had an issue with uh, a torch where it almost set light to the container it was in while it was on my side it switched itself on obviously i'd lean lent on something and i was on a breakdown and somebody said i can smell burning and i looked at the side of me and i thought jesus <laughs> that's nearly on fire yeah uh, that's the Olight one, which is very powerful, actually, and I don't trust that torch anymore. Whereas now I've got one of these by my side, yeah, and yeah, okay, it's summer now, yeah, it's summer, look, it's light, but as I say, I go into places where I need a torch at work, yeah. Come the winter time, then I'm still going to need a torch, so I always carry something on me, plus I have a torch in the vehicle, and also have alarm systems as well, you know, like red flashing lights, stuff like that, yeah. Um, the little trick I learned actually is to just undo uh, the top here so there's no contact, yes, and that works until you need it and then just screw the top down and then I can switch it on, yeah, so uh, that put in a pack for any period of time obviously that would need to be uh, disconnected, so uh, this is what is going to go in her survival pack as well as the one she's got in her car because you always need two or three sources of light, don't you, yeah, so that's my contribution to her pack, okay. Um, so what we need to look at is the parameters again okay she's driving around for work in a vehicle which really isn't suitable for the environment so there is a possibility of getting stuck a uh, very uh, big possibility of uh, flooding in the winter time uh, there's also the possibility of vehicle damage because the roads are pretty bad and she won't be able to change a tire because she's not technically minded that means she'd need a recovery or help and she'd have to wait in the freezing cold there's a possibility of getting stuck in snow overnight or during the day which could be cold yes and there is also the possibility because she's quite kind-hearted is that she'd want to stop and help people as well so there's a, a lot of ideas that you can play with here and what I'm looking for is suggestions down below in the comments. But I'm going to run this over three months. I'm going to run this competition over three months. So we've got time to get the equipment, check it over, uh, change it about a little bit, and then apply it to the vehicle, okay? And she'll obviously need training uh, of what's actually in the bag itself, okay? Remember, she's a nurse, so she's got medical training, and she also has first aid and medical equipment on board her vehicle anyway. So we can already not bother with a first aid kit at all yes okay um however we need to look at the practicalities yeah so what i'll do is i'll do a draw i'll get all the names of people who've, who have uh, made comments and suggestions i'll get them all together like I, I do on competitions put them in a draw and we will have a draw for the winner of the torch at the end of september yes it's going to be a long drawn out one but what i want you to do is, is get involved in this and make comments if you think that something isn't quite right um, then I can adjust it and we can trial this pack as well maybe stay out one night as well in the car and see <laughs> on a freezing cold night and see if it works or not yeah so we can play with this but at the end of the day this is a reality it's not something that's a pretend pack uh, to pretend that you're a survivalist this is actually for real this is a real thing so it's got to work yes so guys there we go um, that's the competition all right now i'm going to tell you about through night as well because i've been doing um quite a few reviews on through night um for quite a while and i know it could torches are boring at the end of the day aren't they uh, but all they have is a practical job of just showing light but i had a look at their website now if you remember i uh, did the black uh, black scout survival uh, torch tactical torch which i didn't realize at the time the guys on youtube um talking about survival because he's, he's ex-military yeah so he's endorsed the torch and i thought yeah actually yeah it's got a few things on the website but there's a whole array of torches suitable for people and i've got to say that i actually like these torches they, there is something about them that, that screams quality anyway and you know I have a head torch from some of my trailers 
the for the toolbox videos yeah i stuck that through the washing machine i left it in my trouser pocket and it went through the washing machine it still works it's slightly defective because it doesn't tell me when it's fully charged but it works it still works believe it or not i am going to order one this week and uh, uh, get that as a replacement yeah and uh, yeah i find the the stuff they have on their website the torches I, I think i'm getting a little bit of a fetish about them but at the end of the day it, what is what suits you now because it's rechargeable that's great and you can actually remove the battery and replace it there are replacements yeah so you have a, a 5000 milliamp hour battery okay which is extreme discharge that makes the difference it does say it on here some way um it's got a discharge protection circuit in the battery so if you happen to uh, use it on turbo power for um, the full length of the battery light it is actually not going to damage the battery which is pretty good because some batteries don't like that do they plus this is waterproof okay they have the the specification the x uh, ip specification yeah plus it feels good I found the right one for me because it fits in my hand just like that and of course it'll fit in my pocket and um, not look too long or too short yeah so I'm happy with this and this is one of the reasons I gave this type to her as well because when you have a matching pair if one goes wrong you can always nick the battery out and put it in the other one can't you so you can see the the logic behind it yeah and I always try to find something that's um, has a dual use at the moment i don't but it has strobe on here which possibly could be used as an emergency beacon okay plus if you put a bit of red over the top you can also just leave it as as a beacon for a warning can't you yeah bright light to very dim light as well okay so anyway they, there you have it guys that is it in a nutshell this competition is going to run over three months so they'll give you time to think and you can come back to me if you, you're not sure about survival bags go and watch it, some of the guys on youtube i'll leave some links below that you can look at and and get a general idea if, if you already know because i know that you guys are vehicle guys anyway and you'll have a, an idea straight away if the car's stuck it's stuck what you're going to do well you're going to have to sit here and blah 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 yeah but I, I, what i want is the feedback from you and I'll put you in the drawer at the end of September and the lucky person will win a torch. Yeah, and that's quite an expensive torch as well. Plus, if there are some really uh, shit-hot suggestions that I find are, are absolutely invaluable, I may well give them some small prizes, maybe uh, some uh, MREs or some small torches or something like that. Yeah, so watch out and watch the series as well because you might learn something because this is a learning curve for me as well i'm not 100 percent sure at the moment this is why i'm involving you guys into it i will be running this across two channels as well my prepper channel as well because there's a load of prepper guys on there plus the the mechanics channel as well okay the uh, the hdv uh, trailer technician yeah and together we'll get something uh, just right for her as well yeah but of course it's not just for her the information will be then out there for other people to to learn from won't they yeah okay anyway guys that's enough there's a truck there's a truck just roared off down there i don't know what that's here for i'm gonna go have a look now anyway see you later